Joe will be here in a moment, Bert. How about getting some coal up? All right, Gwen. Just let me finish this bit. Oh, there he is now. Oh, hello, Joe. Hello, capitalist. What, still grinding the faces of the poor in the dust? What are you talking about, Joe? You're a mine owner, aren't you? What have you done with all them profits that the capitalist mine owners used to have? What do you mean, I ain't making no profit? <laughs> Joe, you do surprise me. And not with what the price of coal is today. <laughs> what I want to know is, if the capitalist mine owners could make all that money, why can't the government, and with the money, reduce the price of coal instead of putting it up? Yes, but what about the miners? Oh, their wages went up before it was nationalised, so you can't use that as an excuse. Well, I read in the paper that we have to pay more because it costs more to send the coal where it got to go. The railways are nationalised, aren't they? Oh. So there you are. You've got to pay more for your coal and you can't get what you want. Oh, it was going to be wonderful when it was nationalised, and it is wonderful for them blokes on the coal board. But that's where your money goes. Nationalisation. National frustration, that's what I calls it. <laughs> Have you got the puppet chain, Daddy? No, son, your Daddy can't afford it. That's where Daddy's wrong. <laughs> Daddy's got a big train. In fact, he's got an old railway, but still he can't afford it. Now, don't you listen to your uncle, son. Joe, you oughtn't to talk to the kid like that. You'll be putting ideas in his head. You know I don't own no railways. Oh, yes, you do. Mr. Atley bought you some lovely railways. And what good's it done you? You don't travel any cheaper? <laughs> nationalisation. Well, that's nationalisation, Daddy. You carry on playing with your train, Sonny. When you're a bit older, you'll know all about nationalisation. Yes, and when you get a little bit older, you'll learn that nationalisation is national frustration. <laughs> What on earth are you doing in the dark, Bert? Eh? Oh, blimey, I must have dozed off. Good job you woke me. Must be time to listen to that political broadcast. That'll be old Mother Smith come to borrow something again. Get rid of her, Gwen, will you? Or she'll stay for hours. All right, dear. It's Joe, dear. Oh, evening, Joe, boy. Evening, Bert. Sorry to bother you, but my wireless is packed up and I want to listen to this year's speech. Why, well, of course. Sit down, make yourself a toe. It is switched on. Home service. Here is the fifth of our new series of party political broadcasts. Tonight's speaker is Mr. William Smith, MP. Mr. Smith. <clears throat> it gives me great pleasure tonight to state my party's policy, which is to carry... Blimey, there it goes again. Can't you ever remember to put the blinking money in the meter? Well, I put a shilling in this morning. Yeah, that's what you always say, Gwen. All right, all right, sit where you are. I'll do it. <laughs> Never mind, Gwen. Of course it goes quickly. It's nationalised, ain't it? Why, well, Bob goes nowhere these days. unfortunate that in the past the people of this country have always suffered from private... Blimey, now we've got a ruddy power cut. Well, what do you expect with a socialist government and the nationalised industry and... Oh, it makes me sick. Just a minute, I think I've got some candles over in the drawer. 
Here, light this for me, will you, Joe? There's a dear. There you are. Although you own it and pay more for it, they can cut you off without so much as a buy your leave. Nationalisation? National frustration, that's what I calls it. I was having a quiet stroll to this thing hit me. Oh, that belongs to my nipper. <laughs> Expensive things to own them, ain't they? No, cost less than a quid. I don't mean the toy ones, I mean the big ones that fly in the air. I wouldn't know, Joe. I don't own one. Oh, yes, you do. Mr. Atley bought you one. And you and millions of others like it are still paying for the privilege. Privilege? I don't get you. British nationalised airways. Lost 11 million pounds last year and you paid for it. What do you mean I paid? Taxes ain't gone up, have they? They ain't gone down neither, have they? Not as they should have done after the war. Now, if the government hadn't have lost 10 million one year and 11 million the next, then taxes might have gone down, if you see what I mean. Nationalisation. National frustration, that's what I calls it. <laughs> 